Hey guys, welcome back. So, we're doing freezer cooking a few today and over the next couple of days. I'm going to be, my well, mom's making potato salad for tomorrow for the 4th. I'm doing bagel breakfast sandwiches. The first thing I did was put my bacon in the oven on a Silpet mat at 350 and you bake it until you like it. It all depends on how much, how crispy you like your bacon. This right here is perfect for me. It's got a little bit of movement but it's still cooked all the way through. Um, again, it depends on how chewy or crispy you like your bacon. You're also gonna need cheddar cheese, or mild cheddar. I'm only doing eight with cheese and then I'm doing eight without, so a total of 16. You're gonna need bagel thins. You can use the everything but the bagel or onion bagel thins or whatever you guys want to. These are just the ones I chose and you guys could do this also with English muffins. I just chose these. Um, and then I will show you a trick on your eggs, on how you make an egg fold perfect for your breakfast sandwiches. Then I'm just going to wrap them up. It's going to be short. This section is going to be short. Um, and for each sandwich, I'm going to take my bacon and break it in half. So I'm doing 16 again, so I'm having 16 strips of bacon. The rest of it mom used for potato salad and baked beans so ignore the fireworks it's not the fourth yet fourth is tomorrow guys uh anyways so when i get to my eggs huh the state of nevada you can light them from the 20th you're joking nope until the fourth at 2 a.m huh i'm messing Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> My mom went to go take Chris a spoonful of potato salad, and he don't eat potato salad. <laughs> Even with bacon in it? No, it's got condiments. Um, so, bacon 350. I'll show you guys the eggs here in just a minute. And then I'm going to put them on the bagel thins. And then I have... I should have had these already pulled out. Where did they go? Somewhere I have foil squares. I'm going to wrap each sandwich in foil and then put it in a Ziploc bag. You guys could either throw them in the microwave at 30 second intervals until they're done, depending on how. I mean, even if they're frozen solid, it all depends on your microwave on how long it's going to take. Or you can take the entire foil packet and put it in your oven for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted and hot as you guys want to. So it all depends on how you guys like it. More than likely, ours will end up being in the microwave. Oh, so. Look at mom dancing behind you. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get to cooking the eggs. Okay, so for your eggs, I have bacon grease in here because my mom just cooked bacon. I'm going to use this. You guys could use butter. You guys can use spray. Whatever your choice is. So let's get started. All right, you guys. You guys are going to need a skillet. My skillet is well loved. A bowl or container to crack your egg in. Don't worry. My pan's not on yet. Put your egg inside your container and whisk until completely scrambled. I'm just going to whisk it. Okay, I have some bacon grease right here for my mom cooking bacon. You guys use whatever you guys want to. You guys can spray or whatever. Sorry, my phone is dying, but I want to show you guys this. That's why the lighting just changed. Okay, just a little bit of oil, about a half a tablespoon, just enough to coat like you were making scrambled eggs. Okay, now you're gonna have your pan on medium high heat. That's what mine looks like. And have your egg ready to go. You can season your egg, I don't. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to put your one egg in the pan. And you're going to just swirl it around. And as it sets, swirl it some more until you get a complete circle on the bottom. Okay, so for some reason my pan is sticking and I don't know why. I'm going to switch to another pan. But what you do is you fold it over like an omelet. And then you fold that over into a square. And then just like that, that is perfect for your sandwich. I'm moving to a different pan and I'll show you guys again. Okay, so I'm going to do it with this pan. Let's see what happens. Okay. My mom is yelling at me about the dog. Alright, so again, I'm just putting that oil down. You're not going to have to grease every time. Don't you dare. Real life, guys. It is 8.30 at night. And I'm trying to get this done. Stop. So again, whisk your egg like crazy. Whoo, dogs in anxiety. Reason I don't do fireworks. I have a dad with PTSD and a dog. So I'm gonna let this set, get it to as big as I possibly can. So as you guys can see, it's just sticking. That's exactly what you want. So you just swirl your egg. Ignore my dog, guys. He's having an anxiety attack. Give me just a second. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to give him some medicine. So here my egg is completely done. I'm just going to show you guys how to fold it. So fold it over like that, about a third of the way. The same thing about the third of the way. Come on. Your egg will cooperate with you wherever it needs to fold. And then in half. You can more time with the egg. I got a couple of them done while I charged a little bit. Let me grab an egg first. I don't need to oil this time just because you can still see oil. So you're going to crack your egg in your container just like so. Whisk it like you were doing scrambled eggs. Put it in your pan. And I swear to you guys, your breakfast sandwich game is going to change when you do your eggs like this. And so, almost instantly done. Turn off your heat, fold over, turn, fold over, and then in half, let it go for just a second longer, and then done. That makes sense, you guys? All right, I use these foil squares. They're easy. So just take one, put a bagel thin down. You can do this with regular bagels as well. I'm just using the thins, the egg. A slice of cheese. And then a bacon cut in half. This is going to be super easy to count as far as calories and stuff like that goes as well. So just like that. And then the way that I do it. Sorry you guys, I used to work at McDonald's. It's just how it's going to go. So. And then fold over. Fold over. And one sandwich is done. 
So if I'm doing bacon and egg and no cheese, I'm just going to do open the bagel, put an egg down, put the bacon down, and then wrap the exact same way. You guys can do it this way, hamburger, hot dog and then hamburger, but I worked at McDonald's and honestly, if I wrap anything, I wrap it like, that's a sandwich, I wrap it like a McDonald's sandwich, I don't know why. So, just like that, these ones have cheese, these ones have no cheese. So it's super easy, and then, It takes like no time. It took me like 10 minutes to do this. So, super easy when it comes to breakfast sandwiches. So, cheese, half a strip, one strip of bacon cut in half, and then a bagel thin top. Okay, this one has cheese this one has cheese as well if that makes sense so I'm gonna keep doing this 16 sandwiches and I will show you guys what they look like I mean I'll show you how I store them in a ziploc bag or I may just stick them back in this bag and just write cheese on it or no cheese but I don't know yet we'll see what happens oh I just thought about this you guys could even put these in the air fryer. Keep that in mind. All right, you guys. So my mom had a few potatoes left over. And since I was already, hang on. Since I was already doing breakfast sandwiches, I just took the six potatoes that she had left over, scrambled up about eight to ten eggs, and then just sprinkled it with cheese. And what I'm going to do is make breakfast burritos with these green onion flour tortillas. And then if I still have more, or two packages of those, and if I still have more potato and egg, then I'll just use regular tortillas. So that's what the plan is. Making breakfast ahead breakfasts for, breakfasts for everybody. So that's recipe number two. All right, you guys. So the way I'm gonna wrap the burritos, my trusty dusty, ice cream scoop. So what I'm going to do, I have my tortilla here. One hefty scoop, maybe two, we'll see. Nah, one's fine. It's preference. That's what mine looks like. Oh, screw it. Two scoops of potatoes. These are going to be hefty breakfast burritos. And then I'm just going to wrap it like you would a burrito. Then I'm going to go from one corner to the next. And it's about the same time frame. 15 minutes in the oven or 30 second intervals in the microwave. One burrito down. I'll show you guys how many I made afterwards. So, I just have a foil sheet. I'm just putting it down. Two scoops of potatoes. Let's be real. One is fine. I mean, I don't want to be here all night, but there's not a lot of mixture. So, I'm going to put this one in the middle, and I'm just going to roll it up, and then push my sides in. These will go in Ziplocs as well, so keep that in mind, and like I said, you guys, it's taking me less than an hour, and I have at least already three days worth of breakfasts ready to go in my freezer. That doesn't include, it doesn't include the potato egg burritos. All right, you guys, these are all the dishes from tonight. 
And then this is dishes from today. And this is everything my mom and I used tonight. Sorry that my light just went off. So I have bacon and egg bagels because my husband doesn't like them. I made five. I don't know how many burritos. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Like 12 burritos. And this is potato, egg, and cheese. And then I made nine bacon, egg, and cheese bagel things. So all this is going in my freezer. Um, I have two procedures coming up this month. So this is going to help out a lot. So I will see. This is day one. And I'll see you guys for day two and however long it takes me to do this.